to an enduring ceasefire and the release of all hostages. This proposal has been transmitted by Qatar to Hamas. Biden just wrapped up an address where he stressed the need for the conflict to end. The plan is in three phases. It calls for a permanent end to the conflict and a withdrawal of all Israeli forces. Hostages would be released in each phase and humanitarian aid would be delivered daily. The final phase is the complete reconstruction of Palestine. Students at Mendez High School are expected to get a show of support from students at Roosevelt High. Scott Reif is live in Air 7 HD with why. Scott. Yeah, Philip, now it's interesting. The second time this week we've been here at Mendez High School, last time was a smaller group of students, but they're protesting the release of their principal by the LAUSD. And LAUSD, we've reached out to them. They're just not giving us a reason why the principal was let go or why he was fired. So today there's a walkout. It's a much larger group than what we saw earlier this week. You can see it wraps all the way around Mendez High School here in Boyle Heights, and we understand they're going to march from here to City Hall. So the real question is why? Why hasn't the LAUSD released the reason the principal was let go. But we got a lot of folks uh, protesting this time and walking, students, faculty, and parents, we understand, all coming out right now wanting answers as to why that principal was let go. Giovanna, Philip. Okay, Scott, thank you. A homeless encampment surrounding a popular Hollywood recording studio has been cleared. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass was at the Sunset Sound recording studio this morning, along with representatives from her Inside Safe program. Bass spoke with several people in the encampment who were experiencing homelessness. Earlier this month, Sunset Sound installed planters on the sidewalk to keep people from erecting tents there. Bass's Inside Safe program started in 2022 and uses vacant hotels and motel rooms for temporary housing. Topanga Canyon Boulevard is now set to reopen Sunday, months ahead of schedule. Governor Newsom making the announcement today. The road was shut down after a landslide March 9th covered that area with dirt, rock, and a car-sized boulder. Reopening wasn't expected for another three months, but Caltrans crews have been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to stabilize the area and clear the roadway. All right, we want to get a look at your weather. And yesterday, it was actually pretty warm <laughs> yesterday evening. I know, it was, was so surprised. beautiful. We saw that early clearing yeah. out there yesterday. Unfortunately, today we are still holding on to that cloud cover. And it's going to be lingering a little bit later as we head into the next couple days. Taking a live look right now, though, from LAX. Uh, low 60s for you, hazy skies out there. You can see plenty of cloud cover in the distance. But speaking of some sunshine, Palmdale, you have sunny skies uh, this morning. Coming in a little bit warmer, too. 86 degrees. So you can see that marine layer has started to move back inland areas already noticing that sunshine mid 60s for you in Van Nuys Ontario Riverside all seeing some clearing but closer to the coast look at this it is cool and it is cloudy out there this morning Santa Monica 64 Malibu hanging on to the 50s Hawthorne also in those low 60s so we will notice some clearing this afternoon a lot of it will depend where you are but LA Orange County talking about those low 70s for you valleys and inland empire making it to the 80s with some sun nice and cool for, for you by the coast only making it to the mid 60s but the desert going to be nice and warm out there today plenty of sunshine for you we do have some warmer temps on the way a nice little warm up comes so we'll break it all down in the seven day but for now philip and Giovanna, i'll toss it back to you okay thanks, thanks much Sheila. an investigation is underway in ontario after an off-duty lapd officer was hurt and another man shot and killed what may have sparked it coming up at 11 30. it all happened in an instant all of my being just kind of like dropped to my ankles. Anita Joy was with Johnny Wachter the night he was killed, and she's now recounting what happened. And look at this.